Well, it's March 15th of 2015. It's been a year and a month, basically, since I started this project. And you all know what that project is. February 19, I was just going to put a different rear end in it, throw a, a different motor in it, and drive it. Well, it didn't turn out that way. As you can see, she's put together. And uh, I love it. I think she's a sweet little ride. And I haven't even driven it yet. Anybody that's been around me knows I got countless hours in this thing. But she is going to be bad, hey, for sure. Just like the song that's coming on. Let's go open the door. Oh, I can't open the door. Let me let me reach inside here. Oh, got little door poppers right there. The only way you're gonna get in this thing is if you have a key through that keyhole that you saw on the door. I got it rigged up. You turn it, it pops the door. No steering wheel yet. Well, I'm going to reach in and turn this down because it's a little loud when you get inside. And where is she at right now? I guess she was only on three or four. <laughs> but anyway, just want to turn that down for a minute. B&M shifter. Right there is my line lock. There's my arms button, or light rather switch right here that makes it all happen with the line lock got two other toggles there one for my console LEDs one for the under dash and you can see those under dash LEDs right there and then we come back up the column here we got my switches ignition fuel pump electric fans bam key start no push button memory tack right here's a uh, turn signal this is my high beam indicator oil push I think I'll bury that fuel water I had to do she was I need to do something with the the heat and all that thing as well I like it here we go bolts vacuum gauge down there help me tune this thing a little better reach over here open up the glove box oh it's not a glove box anymore that's my MSD just the rev limiter as you can see maybe it goes from 4600 to 6800 I can adjust it for the for when it starts to drop cylinders in its misfire sequence. Lights that come on when I open up the door. Passenger one just open, turns on the passenger, open the door, drivers and it turns them both on. Of course I got the Alpine head unit, you already saw that. Got two Memphis amps in there, old school. Bad man pajamas, stainless steel cup holders custom fiberglass console that I made myself by hand Orion subs, custom sub box again, all made by me new carpet, seat brackets, as you see the seats are not in it yet you guys have seen this thing before my old school Ford V8 my Rat Fink tribute Ed Roth Ranger and then of course the old school Ford Motor Company 
It's etched in the back glass. And it is the original glass to the truck. Not perfect. But it's sweet. Gotta shut the doors hard and I will like to, but that's the way it rolls. Stripes all the way up. When we come to the back, everything's tucked in. Got my mirrors on there. They're really hard to see because they're small. I love them. Two little peep mirrors. If we take a look at the back, you know, it might come out in the picture. Got blue dots. Got my LED rings in there for my brakes and turn signals. Got a regular Reese hitch. That thing's mountains. Oh, there's plenty of steel there. That thing ain't going nowhere. Fuel pump. Our fuel filter, main filter, right in front of that is my fuel pump. Fuel cell. Right there. That's lowered. It's an 88 8 rear end. Got four more sport. 373 gears in it. It's a track lock, so it's a locking uh, diff. Got a rear sway bar going on. Got energy suspension bushings all the way around it. Um, yeah. Open my tailgate, as you can tell, extremely close. But I can stand on this and do whatever I want on this tailgate, and it doesn't touch. So, job well done. I did not plan for that, but that's how it turned out. I was very relieved. Hold downs. I didn't do anything with this bed. That's one thing about this truck. Anybody that knows me again. It's a truck. The truck ain't perfect, but it is mine. Dual batteries. There's my battery isolator. And dual batteries down in there. Got my trailer wiring. Right through here is my uh, relay for my fuel pump. Um, probably might even be able to get a glimpse of it underneath there, I'm not sure. We shut that door, and we open up this door, and there's my fuel. There's how I put fuel in this bad boy. Didn't take plenty of it. Rollover vent. Yeah, again, rocking the blue, blue dots. Everything's The peak mirror. I mean, don't get much cooler than that, folks. If you ask me, I love that back view into my truck. As you look through the glass, I don't know how well it's coming out. And again, look inside here from the passenger side door. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Probably one of the Best names that I ever known in my life, right? That's my girl. Can't wait for that start up. I told her the other day, I said, You know you're gonna go for the first ride. So, that's my girl. So if we take a look back there, if we look beyond this truck, we'll see the heart of this bad dude right there. She's gonna be a bad dude too. Well, she, I don't know if she's gonna be a she or he, but uh, I know one thing's for sure, it's gonna have an attitude. All right, 351 Windsor, punch 30 over. Got pro, pro flat tops with valve reliefs, zero deck height. Uh, file fit rings, fuel filter regulator, uh, relocation rather, extra, so I can have the extra capacity and cooling for my oil, engine oil, balancer, rocking a cop 9000, got brand, it is a used unit, but uh, got a new steel gear on it. 
got my Edelbrock RPM air gap and then what makes this thing breathe is this bad boy right here I bought off a dude down in Florida been building carburetors for 25 years race cars street street rods hot rods knows them this thing's all tricked out it's a Holley 750 uh, vacuum secondary it's got a modified accelerator pump on it so it looks like a 30 cc but it's actually a 50 it's got racing bowl uh, racing uh, floats in it it's got the rear block conversion kit so I can change the the jets it's got jet extensions it's got uh, taller vent tubes on it uh, I don't even remember everything of everything that he did to it but it is going to be a bad boy right there and I know you keep seeing this uh, very special box back here and anybody that know uh, that's not a wooden box but that's the Lenati bootlegger and uh, basically this bad boy is uh, 600 lift 300 duration hydraulic roller 107 degrees of lobe separation this thing is gonna thump like nothing and you're probably wearing well where's the heads well I just ordered them bare but I ordered them dart 215 cc's the new Iron Eagle Platinums things are bad 2.050 intake 1.60 exhaust it's their new design yeah they should be here probably Wednesday um, and of course it's going to go in there